and welcome. This is Boscobo with Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm going to be doing the PlayStation version of the game, the Final Fantasy Anthology version of the game. This is the first one that was released in North America, and is the first one that I played. The one that I played when I was probably a teenager. Probably early teens is when I got around to playing this game. Uh, it is one of the more underrated of the Final Fantasy games. It's not fondly remembered by too many people here in North America, but I think it does deserve a place, well, to be remembered. And therefore, I'm going to be doing them while I'm doing all the games. But still, this one is good. And this is the official cutscene to open up the game. This was on the Super Famicom in Japan, uh, the equivalent to the Super Nintendo over uh, in Japan. But this was not released until seven years after the original Japanese version. That is a long time to wait for a Final Fantasy game. And already we have dragons. Very, very nice. That is one cool dragon, as I'm sure you'll be able to find out over time. Very strange sound that it makes, but very cool dragon. Reyna, father, may I leave? Yes, Reyna, dear. You stay and watch the castle and don't try to follow me, all right? But I... What? Not ready. Doesn't sound good. I'm going to the wind shrine. There's something wrong with the wind. The wind apparently isn't doing so good. I feel it too, but if you're alone, don't worry, dear. I'm not controlling these uh, text boxes, by the way. They are disappearing on their own. And he hops r You can ride the dragon? You are the fabled dragon rider. And up he flies. And he's off. You can just freaking ride the dragon right out of the castle. How awesome is that? Bye, daddy! He, I couldn't tell if he waved back or not. His face was in the way. That is the problem with two-dimensional waving. Can't always see it. Meanwhile, on the pirate ship, you can tell it's a pirate ship because everybody has an eye patch, and when they face certain directions it changes which eye it's on. Weird. And we have a purple haired pirate. Must be the captain. The wind stopped. That's probably not good if you're trying to use it to pilot a ship. I better hurry. The wind stopped. Everybody has noticed that the wind has stopped. I don't know where that guy is. He seems to be in a cave of some sort. Surely we will find out very early on in the game. The wind stopped. I hope Father's alright. Surely he's doing fantastic. Uh, then the whole sky turned black. This does not bode well. Does not bode well for any of us. Is that, is that the king? I assume he's the king. He's right. Yeah, king. There we go. What in the going on with crystal it's spinning oh it blew up I, I I don't think we wanted that to happen so we haven't even begun the game really and already we have failed the, the crystal has blown up that's probably probably not a good sign to start the Final Fantasy game considering how important the crystals have been in previous games and now we're just hanging out with a guy and his chocobo. This is a very legendary chocobo, actually. As I'm sure you will find out eventually. But first, a giant rock is flying through the sky. I wonder what kind of rock it could be. Considering it's flying through the sky like that, I assume it's a meteorite. It is a meteorite, and it's choosing to land 
right around there. That sounds good. Even the chocobo knows what must be done. We must stamp out the fire. Very nice chocobo. And we can head out of here. And we are now in control of the chocobo. And uh, we need to head to the east over here. We still don't know anybody's name. Names are irrelevant. We need to head to the tycoon meteor. Like I said, wait, it's a meteorite. When it gets in the atmosphere, it's a meteorite. Right here, Boko. It is Boko. Bogo is awesome. And now we're in control of this guy. We don't we don't know his name though. He is just question mark. But he is bear, as you can see. Uh, if we take a look at his that is that is the button from Final Fantasy IV. That is not the button that I wanted to do. They switched it on me. They are mean like that. Uh, he can fight and he can use items. He's got very little HP, even less MP. Uh, he's a very well-rounded guy here. He's got vigor, speed, stamina, magic power. I believe that is battling power. Uh, damn near no defense. Damn near absolutely no evasion. Uh, he's got very little magnet, magic defense, I should say. And he has a weight of two. I don't know what unit of measurement a full person would have a weight of two in, but he weighs two, and he can equip everything. I'm just telling you that right now. He can equip everything, even though, well, jeez, I mean, that's a huge list there. He can equip everything, but as you saw in the menu there, we had some things that were grayed out, uh, specifically job and ability. We will go over those uh, when we can. But first, we need to head over here, and we see, I'm going to call them goblins. Goblins taking Reyna. I recognize her from the cutscene. Even though we don't know his name, we know her name. And more goblins must be defeated. They were goblins. They were definitely goblins. They are usually the first enemy that we fight in a Final Fantasy game. Yes! <laughs> and we get 20 GP and... 6 experience, 20 gil uh, is probably how I'm going to be referring to it, uh, simply because I've played the later games, and that's what they call it in the later games, so I'm going to go with gil from now on. H how you doing? You alright? Yeah? You saved me from the goblins. Thank you, I'm Reyna, and you are Just Call Me! And this is why we can only name him. Uh, we can enter a name. There is technically no default name in this version of the game. I went to hit end. It won't. It won't do it. So I do need to name him. I have chosen a name, and I'll be right back when I have put it in. I'm just going to go with the classic American version of the name, which is uh, Bart. That is his uh, default name in later versions of the game, uh, Final Fantasy V Advance uh, for the Game Boy. That is his name. Uh, however, in the fan translation, uh, it's implied that in Japanese, his name is closer to Butts. But, yeah, I'm not going to go for that. We're going to go with Bart's farm. So, Butts, let us meet Reina. Just call me bots. Me and Boko just ride wherever the trail takes us. Bots. He's such a badass. He rides his chocobo off into the sunset. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, baby. This thing just fell out of the sky. I passed out in the storm. Looks like a meteorite. It is a meteorite. Meteorite? I wonder if this has anything to do with the wind. What? The wind? I'd really like to do something to show my appreciation. Uh, already? Wow, we can go behind the meteorite if you really want to. But you see, right now I'm in a hurry. I'll, don't worry, it won't take long. Hey, wait a minute. Do you hear something? Hear what? <laughs> it's a zombie! Run, help me! Oh, help me. I'll help him. Over there! And you'll notice that in this version of the game, I can uh, run. See, this is walking, this is running. Oh, 
you gotta love that. You gotta love that. That is something that is not on the fan translation of the Super Famicom version. And we have an old guy over here. How you doing, old guy? Hey, are you all right? Where am I? Oh, my head. What? What's wrong with me? I can't remember a thing. You hit your head. It's probably amnesia. Can we hit him with a mallet? That usually works in Final Fantasy games. Wait. I remember now. My name's Galif. And... And... That's all. Can't remember anything else. How very convenient. That you would remember your name and absolutely nothing else. Listen, I'm really sorry about your head, but I must be going. Where to? The Wind Shrine. Wind Shrine? I think that's where I was going too. Take me with you. Well, I don't know. You gotta take me with you. Oh, oh, okay. What about you, Bots? I'll just keep traveling, thanks. You can't tie down this stallion. You guys go on ahead. I love my chocobo more than the both of you combined. Well, thank you again, Bots, and goodbye. Godspeed. <gasps> they said God in a Final Fantasy game. Can you believe it? And they just, uh, kind of run off. Can I chase him down here? No. Kind of looked like that was a way forward, but it wasn't. So, we need to head back to Boko. Boko, I've missed you so much, man. Boko, let's go. And Boko, yes, Boko does want to go, so we can head on out of here. And there's pretty much only one other way we can go. We can't, like, try to go back to the camp in here. Uh, now, we're, while we're on Boko, we can't get into random battles. There normally would be here, uh, but you can't actually even get off of him. So, you really don't get any random encounters here uh, because of that. So, it's a nice little, nice little effect that they have there. Ouch! What are you stopping so fast for, Boko? Don't give me that look. And he... Uh, work, work, work. <laughs> I can't do a chocobo impression, I'm sorry. I know. You're worried about the old man and the young girl. He's worried. Uh-oh. Help! Urgh. Come on, Boko! Yes! Hop on, Boko, and we can help them out. They're up here. Look at him shake his ass. Whoa. Boko, what's going on with that? Uh, yeah, basically, with uh, this version of the game, you are going to get uh, the 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 time bar is back in this version. I'll go over battling you know, a little bit more later uh, when we have more options. Because right now it's just mashing X until until you win. And you get 20 uh, gil, six experience once again, and Bots has gained a level. No, no victory music, and that kind of uh, makes me sad, but it's still early. It's still early. There's still many chances to hear the victory music. Well, let's keep going.